one and only in Tone Tom, who was now in his element, the favorite and best scalp belt of that ferocious chief, Bloody Tomahawk. He scalped Indians, he slew a thousand buffalo, he burned down white men's houses and barns. Faith, Tom Woodlawn, and ye'll do the same, cried an indignant voice. Wara, wara. Do ye not know better than to light a candle in your father's barn? Robert Arton stood in the barn door, his good-natured face as stormy as a thundercloud. Caddy hastened to snuff the candle. Oh, Robert, she said, we've done no harm. We're only having a show. Look, I've put out the candle and the barn's not worried down either. Please, Robert, get your banjo and sing us a song. It'll be a part of the show. Please, Robert, do, begged all the children, for Robert's fame as a musician had gone all through the neighborhood. Robert never had to co be coaxed to sing. A smile broke through the clouds of his disapproval on his face. In a moment, he had fetched his banjo and seized himself in their midst. There was only there was another moment of delightful suspense as he turned the instrument and twanged a few preliminary chords. Sing Patty's leather breeches, cried Tom, who was glad to give up the center of the stage when the next performer was Robert. Yes, yes, Patty's leather breeches shouted children. Faith, then, Patty's leather breeches. It shall be, said Robert, but mind you, you must all join in the fall dead all laws. We will, we will, shouted the children. Twang, 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 went the banjos on the road to Clonmel. At the sign of the bell, Patty Haggerty kept a neat shanty. He kept mate figs and bread and ate a lodge in bed. Well liked for the country lived in Sing full de rollo Sing full de rollo Sing full de rollo do ro, de rolli do A swelling chorus of voices flung the full de rollos as high as the rafters. One night the snow fallen down, he could not get to town, and Patty was eight out completely. Here something always seemed to be left out of the added out or added to, um, to spoil the meter, but Robert twanged on as gaily as ever, fitting his music to the words as he knew them with never a care for rhyme or reason. That night, as he lay dreaming of fairies and witches, he heard an uproar outside of his door, and he jumped up to strail on his breeches. Sing for the rollo, shouted the children. The words were scarce spoke when the door came unbroke, and they gathered round Patty like leeches, saying, Big... By the big match I'll gob. If ye don't give us grub, we'll eat ye clean out o oh, your breeches. Sing full dead all all, sing full dead all all. Sure, they've got to be fed. He slipped up to the bed, which held Judy, his own darling wife, in, and it was there they agreed how to give him a feed. So he stepped out and brought a big knife in. Sing full dead all all all. Sing full de rollo, sing full de rollo de rollido. Here's the picture. They caught up the waist of the breeches the best, and they ripped off the buttons and stitches. They caught them on strips by the way they were striped, and they boiled up the old leather breeches. Sing full de rollo, shit roared the audience. Full de rollo de rollido. When it was stewed and on a dish shrewd, the boys cried out, Lord, be thank it. But twas little they knew, that twas leather, leather be goo, wild out o' patties, old breeches. Sing full de all all, sing full de all all. As they messed on the stuff, says Andy, tis rot tough. Says Patty, here, no judge of mutton. Then Brian McQuirk, on the pint of its fork, held up a large ivory button. Sing full de all all, sing full de all, sing full de all, de all, de all, de all, whatever. This is boring. Okay, they poison the feast, let's send for our priest. They jumps on their legs and their breeches, and from there, that very night they'd knock out there ear daylight if he'd mentioned the old leather breeches such a joyous howl of full dead all lulls marked the end of the song as they set the house's horses to jumping and fawning in their stalls and john's dog to barking like a mad thing and so ended the music the show which had begun with scalp locks on note on counting up the gate receipts the woodlawn 
Children discovered that they had a tidy collection of marbles, old birds' nests, butternuts, pins with colored heads, slingshots, scratches, and various other objects of interest or art. I guess we did pretty well, said Caddy pleasantly as she divided the spoils, but Tom pocketed his share. In silence, some of his disturbing thoughts seemed to have occurred to him. Katie Hyman didn't come to the show, he said. I guess she's about the only one who didn't. What do you expect, demanded Caddy, with a little touch of scorn in her voice. She'd be scared to death of a scalpel. 172.